Hey guys, uh, this is Tool Taz here. Um, a little bit of mail call and an answer to BJ's Model Works, Ms. BJ's question. And also Papa Dan's response to this. Also a part two of the question. Um, thank you for the card, BJ. BJ, Brian, nice stuff, man. Get your wife maybe to build. Um, yeah, good luck with that. And yeah, thank you, Ron Stewart, for his yours. Awesome Merc and beautiful gold colored 32 Ford. Um both my favorite, two favorite kits. I mean I've got a couple of Mercs built. Um, okay, on to part one of this BJ's question. Um, um, what kit, what models of your stash you would keep your five? Top five kits. My top five is still getting an F and glare. There? Yeah. LED Pro Stock or Pro Mod Camaro. Okay. Top one. To restart your session. Two. The Charlie Carpenter 55 Sportsman Kit. Um, number two. Yeah, two drag cars. Second one. four-wheel drive Chevy or GMC pickup did have one of those in the stash on my this set if anybody's ever seen this kit goes together like a champ and yes what you see is what you see there's enough parts in here to do two cars But the stash, the limited stash you'd have, you wouldn't have the part bin, so you'd use what you have here. That's why I picked the three in one kit. You gotta, have, you gotta start your part pin somewhere. And then the second one is this kit here. Um, this is a project that's looming um but that's my top five i mean there'd be some maybe one or two here that might not be brought um there's others that would be maybe not both these drag cars, but I know the first one especially, but that one is, yeah. And question two. Your five that you would keep out of your stash that are all built would be. My first truck would be this one. Everybody knows it. This one's on my picture. Good kit nice truck my other one would be this mercury my chopped well it's not chopped hard topped it two tone 50s merc that shelton's building right now as a pro as a drag car so yeah you can build this more than more than just one way second one would be a Custom 1937 Ford, uh, 37 Chevy Coupe. That's been kind of modernized. Um, I know I put a video on this many years ago when I built the car. Um, 
and then my second one, my third, and then oldie but dusty, a Corvette L88 Corvette. Um, and this is not the new issue that's out now. This is the original, original. Um, um, this is the lone survivor of the old hot rod, hot vet set that Ravel pushed out back in the early ninety, early eighties. This is the lone, the lone survivor of them two, them three cars. Had sixty that had sixty five coupe and then it had the sixty eight. It's the only one of the three that survived the the trip or harsh my harsh play I should say back when I was a kid. This one actually was still used as a toy when I was young. It was. You know, little. Just, just how it is, and then my my fifth one would be this recent Chevy truck months Chevy Suburban, and I call Blue Crush. Um, with surfboard. <laughs> um, but and then possibly a a goodie bag. Depends on how bad the fire is. Um, this is something you'd never want. To, you'd never in your life want to say that you had a house fire and lose everything. Um, I wouldn't want to do to to be in a house fire and lose everything. Clothes. I'd be. I don't know. Uh, but. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Maybe get in to one of the hangouts in the area. The time um, there's a bunch of car sh model shows this week. Uh, get some bench time in, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be sitting here in a few minutes working on mine. Um, believe it or not, I'm working on. I don't know if I can tilt this up without. Making a mess, but um, 1950 Chevy um, street truck. Chassis here on it. That's about it. That and I got the engine built for it. That's about all I got in this thing. So. I'm getting there. Um, this is Tool Taz signing out. Um, hope everybody has a good weekend. And God bless you all.